Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the plus to perform the free motion capture for your Autodesk Maya just by using a camera or just use an MP4 video and it is automatic use the AI to perform the motion capture for your 3D avatar in your Autodesk Maya. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, what you are going to do is just use your video camera to record an mp4 and this is a sample video for example this is a dancing video always remember you can use your camera use your webcam to capture a video and this video you need to capture your whole body and then after that you save it as an mp4 video file once you already get this video next you can just scroll down, go to my video descriptions, get into the plus, the plus video motion capture, enter this link. So just have a click and then you are automatic enter the plus.ai. This is the AI app that perform the motion capture by using your video automatically and make it become a 3D animation for your 3D avatar. You have to sign in by using your Gmail account or Google account. Once you already sign in, you click here, get started. And then wait for a while. Now it is loading all of this next. What you are going to do is just drag in your, your MP4, drag in your MP4 to here, then click confirm. Now your video is uploading. You have to wait for a while until the timeline is pop out. Right now you can see the timeline already pop out here. So now if you try to play, you can see this is the full video. It is totally 12.7 seconds. So now you have to drag and just select the part that you want to perform the motion capture. For example, I just want to have this view, this few seconds, All right? Then it will just maintain as this few seconds. I just want this part so I click extract motions and then as demo I will just name this motion as dance dance zero one then I click OK and now it is extracting and now it is performing the AI motion capture for your video and here you have to wait for a while until it finish Alright, once it finished already, it will show you this. You can see dance zero once. It is here. So now what you are going to do is drag the dance zero once into the mannequin.glb. Just drag in. And now you can just have a preview you try to play. You can see this is really the 3D animations. This is really the motion capture and this is the 3D model. The next step, what you are going to do is right click the mannequin glb and then click export you only want to choose the motion of the dance zero one that you already you already capture right next you click export and wait for a while now it is exporting once it done this is a google chrome browser it will automatically start download and here you can see now it is downloading and finish downloaded already. You click here, show in folder. See, this is the ones. Again, I click here, show in folder. And then you have to name this properly. You press F2 to rename it. F2 to rename it as dance zero once. Once you rename it already, as demo, I will just cut and paste on my desktop. And next, you have to go and get the 3D exchange pipeline. This is the software 3D exchange pipeline. And then download the plus most cap mannequin.iavata for your 3D exchange. This is a free download that I prepare for you. This is my Google Drive link. Get this software, we call it the 3D exchange 7 and download the plus most cap mannequin.iavata. Drag this avatar into 3D Exchange 7 and then now you have to you have to scroll down this site 
until you can see the motion library. Alright, at this moment, what you are going to do is drag the dance01.fbx into the motion library here. So I drag in and drop here, select the current character and click OK. Then click Add All to Perform, it will appear at the Perform Editor. And then click here, and one more time you click again, rename it as Dance01, enter. You can have a preview here, you can see it is really the 3D animations that's already retargeted on this mannequin. So now it's the time to export it as an iCloud motion file first before you give it to your Autodesk Maya avatar. This is the Autodesk Maya and I already have an avatar here. So in your iClone 3D Exchange 7, you export as the iClone motion file, untick export geometry and only tick export animations. Click other, then tick export RL motions. You browse as demo, I will browse my desktop and click OK. I will export it on my desktop. And now this is an iClone motion file with the extension RL motions. So next, in your Autodesk Maya, this avatar, you are going to export it out as FBX file first. All right, you click File, Export All. And then the file of the types, you have to choose the FBX export. And I choose desktop because as demo, I want to export it on my desktop. The file name, I will just name this as Asian Girl 01. All right, then I click export all. This is the FBX file. Next, in your 3D Exchange 7, here you have to clear everything by clicking the file, new, and clear everything, make sure it is empty. All right, so now, Drag in, here you press Ctrl A so that you can see where is the center of the world. The origins is here. You drag in the Asian girl you want. Drag in, then click OK. Make sure everything is in T-Post and she's standing at the center of the world at the origins. Next, <coughs> what you are going to do is Scroll down, click convert to non-standard, and now you can see all the skeletons. First you map the head, this should be the head, you can check from here, this is the head, so you map the head, then map the neck, then map the arm, Map the hand and next map the fingers. You click here, map every fingers. The first one is the thumb, and the second one is the index finger, middle finger. Now you left two fingers, and now this is the last finger. Then click here. Now it's your right hand turn. Now this is the right arm. right hand and all the fingers in your right hand click here map the thumb map the index finger map the middle finger Now you left two fingers and now this is your last finger 
Once done, you click here and then next, you have to map the hip bones at here. Map the spine. Now you have two more spine to map. Click here. Done. You can ignore the shoulder bones. You click here. Next. Map the leg. Map the tight. Map the leg. And finally, map the foot. Alright, once done already, tick active and then click convert. Now this avatar, this 3D avatar already become the iClone avatar, become an eye avatar. You click here, export it as eye avatar, export the geometry, the Asian girl 01 as demo. I will just, just export it on my desktop and I click OK. It is exporting on my desktop. Okay, you have to wait for a while until it finish exporting. Now, this is an iClone avatar files. Open your iClone 7 3D animation software. At this moment, you drag in the iAvatar. Next, drag in the dance, the dance 01 RL motion into this avatar. Alright, this is the timeline. You can turn it on, turn it off anytime. Alright, now drag the RL motions into your avatar and then you have a check now if you play you can see the 3d animations on this 3d avatar already retargeted now so now you can fix some of the opacity because i i see that the eyes is not the opacity map of the eyes is, is not set properly so which one is the eyes? This one's the opacity map is empty. I right click copy and right click paste. It will automatically generate the opacity map. And the hairstyle here is the wrong mesh. The opacity map also not there. I right click copy, right click paste. It generate the opacity map. Now done. Everything done. Now we want to have a look. You check the timeline, and then you can see. Here you have to click and fit to window. You can see the total frame is, is 1,800 frames. And this is the motion. You can see this is the part of the motion that you want to export and send it to Autodesk Maya. So now I close my Autodesk Maya first. This one I don't save. For that, and then in your icon 7, you have to make sure you choose the correct range. You just, if you can see this part, you can drag it. You only want to have this part. It's until here. This is the end of the animations. So now you already set the range properly. If your animation is more than 1,800 frames, you have to go to the project here. Project, the total frames, you can set it as much as possible. For example, 5500 and 12. Now you can see the total frame. Here you fit to window again. The total frame now is 500, uh, sorry, it's 5,500. But we just want to have this part. So to export this, to export this as FBX file, we have to click File, Export as FBX file. The target tool preset, we have to choose Autodesk Maya. Maya is at the top here. The FPS is 30 FPS. Then we only want the range. This is the range. We only want this range. It automatically select from frame 1 to 188 frame. Embed the texture, click export. As demo, I will export it on my desktop. I will name this as Asian Girl 01 Dance 01. I put this because the animation already added. 
done zero once. I click save, save as the FBX file, I save it. Now I open the Autodesk Maya and everything start from beginning, start from new. I drag in the FBX, the Asian Girl 01, Dance 01 into Autodesk Maya. I drag in and now we can have a look. Right, now you can see the post is already there. I turn on the texture and has to have a look. And the FPS, if you play, this one should be 30 FB, FPS. Should be 30. If it doesn't have 30. So I will choose 29.97 FPS. I try to play. If it's too fast, then here I choose 15 FPS. Just try one by one. 60 FPS. Choose the one that's suitable for yours. You can see this is exactly the 3D animation at the beginning where you already successfully perform the motion capture just from a video sample. You can record your own video and perform any of the 3D animations and bring it to your Autodesk Maya. And that is really easy to do. Just by using the plus.ai, it helps you to do all the jobs and use the 3D Exchange and Icon 7s as animation pipeline to retarget everything. And finally, you send it to Autodesk Maya now. And if you play, you already can see all the motions. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, if you love my video tutorial, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.